The Lord said in Deuteronomy 28 verse 2, All of these blessings will come upon you if you obey the word of the Lord. I cannot emphasize much more enough on the importance of our obedience unto the Lord when we are in the hour of manifestation. Many of you are probably tired of me saying this, but I'm not going to get tired of saying it because it's it's very, very key. It's very, very essential for us to know. John 2, 5 speaks of um, Jesus when he gave the instruction to the servants to get the water um, pots and fill them with water. The party was asking for wine and he asked them to fill the pots with water but they obeyed what happened out of their obedience was a miracle that came through and the Lord is saying to you as Jesus mother said to the servants whatever he tells you to do do it because many of you are actually in the hour of manifestation but you can't see the signs yet and you don't know what's you know you may not really come to like a full understanding of the of the season that you are in but I'm here to tell you right now that when the Lord wants to bring to fulfillment that prophetic word that he declared over your life he will give you an instructions many times he will give you an instruction many times and I want you to be encouraged you have to keep praying that your faith will not fail child of God that you will obey what the Lord says with faith and do what he asks you to do because sometimes your breakthrough is at the mercy of your obedience. What you're waking up on the Lord for, God is waiting for you to just do that thing that he's told you to do. So this is very important for me to keep, you know, speaking over. It's a warning because let me tell you, Satan wants you to disobey the Lord more than anything so that you can miss out on your promise, on your breakthrough. But the devil is a liar. So this word is just a reminder word because we all know this or many of us know this already but some of us don't so take it seriously if the lord has given you a divine instruction to do something it may not make sense but do what the lord says to do as far as you are convinced he's the one speaking don't delay obey the lord and take action obey him because his word says all of these blessings will come upon you. And if you want to know what God is speaking about, these blessings that he's speaking about, you just go into Deuteronomy 28 and keep reading after verse to read all the way down. It will keep telling you everything that God wants to release upon your life as his child just because you obeyed. It's as simple as that. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I pray that Father God will give every single one of you grace, even right now. Receive the grace of God, the fullness of God's grace to obey him and to do exactly what he tells you to do. Whatever he tells you to do. The same with the mother of Jesus said to the servants, whatever he tells you to do, do it. So that you can come to see the fulfillment of that prophetic promise in your life child of god in jesus mighty mighty name there is power in your obedience there is, there is power in your obedience child of god when you obey one instruction from the lord because you see god is ordering your steps so he doesn't want you to, to and begin to think twice about what he said he wants you to just act when he says you do when he speaks you move amen the more you do that the more you allow the holy spirit to open your spiritual hearing so that you can hear more and be led more and be guided more into um your promised land into where god needs you to be to receive what god wants to give to you hallelujah so let's not harden our heart let's you know um open our hearts open our spirit man to the word of god and um do what the lord tells us to do that we can be blessed by him in jesus mighty name because ultimately the the Lord wants to bless you and please do not forget that there are causes for disobedience it's in the Word of God it's in the same disobedience there are causes when, when we disobey the Lord willingly we release a curse upon ourselves we release a curse upon ourselves so please be warned it's so important where you are right now you want to see God move in your life obey him do what he tells you to do do what he tells you to do, child of God. He will bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. My Father, my God, you are so loving. You are so awesome and so wonderful. I pray even right now for your people, oh God, for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that you grant them an overflow of your grace, Heavenly Father. Grace to obey you delightsomely and joyfully. Father, release that grace over their entire life. That they will obey you in the daytime, in the noontime, in the nighttime. That they will obey you delightsomely. That as you speak, they perform. They do, Heavenly Father. That they will come to be partakers of the blessings of the inheritance of the saints in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Father, I pray also that you grant them, Lord God, grace to keep loving you and grace to keep serving you. Grace to keep loving you. Let it be deeper, oh Lord, and stronger. So that once you say do, they will do. They will perform. And you will be moved, Heavenly Father, to do your own part too. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, let your people come to to come to experience an overwhelming of your love oh god for them in their life in this very week oh god let it be a week of miracles a week of signs a week of wonders a week of the supernatural in the name of jesus christ let your name be glorified this week in their lives father god in jesus mighty name we pray and let new and Fruit church say amen if you are new subscribe amen god bless you and i'll see you all tomorrow tuesday september 6 2022 don't forget we're fasting on thursdays fridays and saturdays all through the month of september thursday friday saturday starting this week from 12 midnight to 12 midday and i want you all to be praying wake up at 3 a.m at night spend one hour with the lord the same way the disciples spend an hour spend time with jesus amen to read the word look into the word and god wants to speak to to you as you do that's what the lord does with me he wants to speak to you when you look into his word at that quiet time in the night god wants to do something miraculous in your life in the month of september in jesus name god bless you family every link again for the scripture i read is down below in jesus mighty name see you soon and god bless you